Sometimes multiple capacitors are used in a circuit. In the next few lessons, we will be studying two basic types of circuits with combinations of capacitors. Here we have two capacitors C1 and C2 connected to a battery with voltage V. We say that these two capacitors are connected in series. When two components are connected in series, they have one end connected together while the other end is not. See here, we have a battery in between these two ends. What we're going to do now is to find the equivalent capacitance of these two capacitors in series. Suppose we have this other circuit with a single capacitor that has a capacitance that is the equivalent of those two in series and it is connected to an identical battery V. This means uh, if I put these two parts in black boxes, from the outside everything should look the same. If this battery pumps positive Q out this way and negative Q out that way, then this other battery should do the same, positive Q and negative Q. Of course, this battery cannot pump any charges onto these two plates because there is no conducting path between these two plates and the battery. However, the positive Q and negative Q here can induce a charge separation in here. The positive Q attracts negative charges, so this plate ends up with a negative Q and the other plate ends with a positive Q. This means that when two capacitors are in series, they end up carrying the same amount of charge. But the two capacitors in series have to share the voltage. The total potential difference here equals to the potential difference between the two plates of C1 plus the potential difference between the two plates of C2. So V equals to V1 plus V2. Since Q equals to CV, V is Q over C. This voltage would equal to the charge Q divided by the equivalent capacitance. And this V1 would equal to the Q1 divided by C1, and Q1 is the same as the Q. And the V2 will be Q divided by C2. And since the, all the charges are the same amount, that means uh, we get this equation 1 over C equivalent equals to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So this is the equation that can give us the equivalent capacitance when two capacitors are connected in series. If we have more than two capacitors in series, we can just keep on adding the 1 over Cs.